and welcome back to Otaku no Video. As always, thank you so much for joining me, where I'm going to explain what happened this week. Basically, the... I think it's pretty clear the biggest anime DVD licensor in America was bought out by Sony. Uh, Sony Pictures... I'm sorry, Sony Television, specifically. Sony Pictures Television Networks, which is a subsidiary of Sony. Why would they do that? That's what I'm here to explain, come with some of the backstory. So, first off, what's going on? Um, on Monday, they've announced that they're going to acquire a majority stake in Funimation. They're getting 95% of it, uh, purchased at four and, uh, sorry, $143 million, which means they, they're figuring the business is worth about $150 million. Okay. Funimation CEO Gen Fuganaga will stay there. He'll still have a little bit of, of shares. And... That's basically all we know. There was some uh, information in Variety posted about this, um, which kind of listed what Funimation's done and so forth and so on. And um, Obviously, the deal isn't completely final. It has to go through regulatory approval, but that's probably going to happen. And basically, so Andy Kaplan, president of Worldwide Networks for Sony Pictures Television, said, quote, with the acquisition of Funimation, the combined intellectual property of Animax, Kid Station, and Funimation allows us to deliver the best anime to fans across all screens and platforms. Now, that just sounds like, you know, whatever. Uh, just saying, oh, Funimation's awesome. What that means is they're trying to consolidate their anime... Um, not consolidate. They're trying to get more anime out to more people. In other words, Sony already owns... Animax. What is Animax? That is a satellite TV station in Japan dedicated to animation. And they air a lot of anime. So basically, what they're saying is Animax is great. Kid Station, which is kind of similar, is great. Funimation is going to be another arm of that. Another way to get out um, anime to a lot of different people. So to be clear... Um, Sony Pictures Television Entertainment, which is again part of this thing, and to give you a, an idea, Sony Pictures Entertainment, the parent company, um, they've been involved. They were involved in, for example, production for the 2003 Astro Boy series, uh, the Kenshin the Motion Picture, Samurai Seven, uh, Sukiyaki Western Django, an Ultraman film, Iron Man Rise of the Technovore, a lot of different stuff. Um, they also worked on the Grudge live action films, uh, the Wolverine anime series. A whole bunch of stuff. I mean, they have their hands in a lot of different different things. Um, Animax is this satellite TV network. Now, it is to be clear, Animax is owned by Sony, but it was co-founded and co-owned. In other words, there are shareholders that also have a stake in it, and those include Sunrise, the anime studio, Toy Animation, TMS Entertain Entertainment, and a production company called NAS. In other words, the big heavy hitters in anime also own a chunk of Animax. Animax. <clears throat> so, what's interesting here is to see how Funimation is going to be part of this larger thing. Um, there's obviously going to be some cross-pollination in terms of figuring out, okay, Animax is streaming this thing. Uh, or you know, broadcasting this thing to show up on Funimation now because they're all part of the same company. It's going to be easier for Funimation to license and bring over all those Sony shows. Um, that said, then there's going to be competition, right? Because you have all you have these different platforms all providing the stuff in different ways. Crackle is owned by Sony and they show anime. So is Crackle going to show the same things, different things? Are they going to split it? So Crackle and Funimation both have to bid on the same thing within the company. Who knows? Um, maybe Crackle will just kind of go away. But more importantly, what this means is that this is now a way for com companies like Sunrise, who makes Gundam and Macross, Toy, who makes, um, gosh, One Piece and Dragon Ball Super. Um, it, it provides a way for them to more directly connect in with Funimation, Funimation's streaming platform, as well as Funimation's you know, distribution platform. The fact that the um, the announcement doesn't mention DVD or Blu-ray sales at all, it's just talking about streaming, 
it doesn't mean that Funimation will stop selling those, but it, it suggests, it implies that this is about integrating Funimation into the overall streaming platform. We'll see where that goes, um, and we'll see if that is helpful or useful, or if it all falls apart, as often does with these things. But I think that's interesting, that this is, a, again, a streaming play, and that maybe Sony can make something that is more streamlined, something where when a show comes out, it just comes out on Funimation, just done. You can rely on it being on Funimation. If it's, if it's from Sony, it will end up on Funimation almost immediately. That would be pretty cool. We'll see. Um, it also potentially means a couple of things. Uh, one, Funimation, Funimation's cost in licensing a Sony show goes down because Funimation doesn't have to pay licensing fees for a show owned by its own company. But it also means stronger competition. It means that now Funimation is going to be negotiating for licensing fees from these other companies that Sony is potentially in competition with. So it might be a lot harder for Funimation to actually get some of these shows, which might drive prices down or up. It depends on how it all falls. Um, you know, those chips can fall in lots of different ways. So anyway, that is what's going on. That is where that might be going in the future. It's hard to say, but hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for joining me. Um, as more news develops, you'll be seeing more backstories, and uh, hopefully I will see you next time.